Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL cross join. So SQL cross join is used to generate a paired combination of each row from first table with each row of the second table. So for example, in this particular diagram, you will see that there are three items in this A section and this is B section, right? So say for example, this is A table and this is B table and A table has three rows, first one, second one and third one and B has four rows. So what cross join does is it will map each of the row of the first table, which is A in this case. So this square will be mapped with each of the rows of the second one. So star, star, circle and the square right of the B so you'll see these arrows so each of this first will be mapped and returned so there'll be four items that will be mapped and returned so four rows for the first one four rows for the second one and four rows for the third one so basically all these three rows in the first table will be mapped to each and every row of the second table and then return cross join is also known as Cartesian join okay so if there is an interview question wherein they ask for the Cartesian join or cross join. They are sort of same thing. So let's quickly go back to the workbench and understand this with example. So let me open a new, uh, not the script, new page, new query tab, right? And this is the database that we have and we have created uh, two tables, customer and orders. Okay, so let me use this database. So I'll say use RCV online okay now let's see what all items are there in both these tables right so i'll say select star to display all the rows from customer table okay and then same thing for the orders okay so let me write the query and then i'll display orders okay so if i run these you will see this is the customer table right so in the response here you'll see that this is the customer table and this has eight rows there okay so if i expand this little bit so you'll see c1 to c8 these are all eight rows there so now when we say cross join these eight rows or each of the row from this particular table will be mapped to each of the row from the order right so here how many rows are there so you will see there are nine rows right so in this case there are nine rows uh, because you will see that select star from orders in the bottom you'll see that nine rows have been written so basically each of the row of the customer if you do cross join each of the row of the customer will be mapped to each of the row of the order so there will be a huge set of return or uh, the result that will be returned so how we can do cross join so we can simply say select star from customer okay and then cross join we are cross joining this customer table with what table with the orders table right so we'll say orders now in this case we'll see that this first customer which is kunal from australia c1 will be mapped to each of the order right so each of the rows here in this particular section here in this particular uh, table right so c1 will be mapped to three four five six then seven seven six all of the order amount or order IDs will be mapped to the customer from the customer one. Then C2 will be mapped to each of the order IDs here. Okay, so if I run this, let's see what's the response. So you'll see that C1, right, has been mapped to the order 3456. Then again, C1 has been mapped to 776. And similarly, you will see that C1 to C8, each of this row has been mapped to the order, right? So you'll see that if we run this query again, right? So we have some orders, right? So 3456, 776, and there were nine orders, right? So each of the customer that is here, so each C1 to C8 is first mapped to the order, the first order, right? Then C1 to C8 is again mapped to the second order. And that's what happened in the cross join, right? You will see that it has returned from C1 to C8, it has mapped to the first order, right? So all the order details had been mapped to, mapped to all the customers. Then C1 to C8 is mapped to the second order. So this is basically what happens in the cross join. So if you go back slide here, you will see that each of the rows of the first table have been mapped or paired with the rows of the second table. And that's what we have seen here, right? So each of the rows of the first table which is the customer table have been mapped to the orders or all the rows or orders of the second table. So if you map this C1 for the first order, C1 for the second order, and all of that combination has been returned. Okay, so this is what Cartesian join or cross join is in SQL. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.